everybody. Um, okay, today, right, we are going to be presenting on the topic of integrase inhibitor. And in my group, right, we have Eugene, uh, oh, that's me, Jie Wei, Hao Jie, and Ming Shi. And hope you like it, and don't sleep, please, please, please. So, the objectives of this topic is to int introduce on integrase inhibitor, types of integrase inhibitor, MK0518, GS9137, upcoming potential integrase inhibitors, and lastly, a video. So, what is an integrase? Integrase is a viral enzyme that integrates its DNA into the host DNA. The integrated DNA would be called viral DNA. Viral DNA transcription into mRNA, translation into viral proteins. Next, it works on a specific part of the viral DNA, preparing it for integration. Finally, the processed viral strand is transferred into the whole cell. What is an integrase inhibitor then? It is an antiretroviral drug that inhibits the action of integrase. This is not a cure for HIV, it only slows down the process. Integrase inhibitor plays an important part as integrase is a vital step, step in HIV replication. It basically prevents the pre-integration complex from being integrated into the whole cell DNA so as to terminate the replication process. So, what types of inhibitor are there out in the market? Okay, so we have two inhibitors and I'll be talking one of them. So for the first one, we have MK0518. So it also is also known as Rautergravir. So how how good Rautergravir is, is that participants who took the drug was had their drug as their had their virus load reduced by 98% after taking the drug. And also studies have shown that when you take a smaller dose of Rautergravir is more effective compared to a larger dose. So, and also, when a drug combined with other HIV drugs, it was safe and effective as well. And one good thing about Rotogravir is that it does not elevate cholesterol and triglycerides level as compared to other HIV drugs. And recently, about last year in the December, the FDA has approved for pediatric use in patients. Next, we will be We'll be covering Elvitagravir, which is also known as GS9137. As compared to other HIV drugs, Elvitagravir can be taken once per day. This inhibitor is made by Gilead and similar to Rautergravir. It is also safe, effective, and well tolerated by participants. In addition, Elvitagravir has shown in clinical trials that it is effective in one's daily dosing thus improving patient compliance as other HIV drugs require multi-dose per day therapies. Furthermore, what is surprising is that studies have shown that when the drug is taken with a protease inhibitor, Norvia, it produced a 24 increased amount of Elvitagravir, thus increasing the effectiveness of the drug. Also, when taken with food, it is proven to be more effective too. Upcoming potential integrase inhibitor. Dolutagravir S slash GSK1349572. Uh, this holds promise for HIV positive patients who are either starting HIV treatment for the first time or have used other HIV drugs, including Lacentres or Elvitagravir in the past, currently starting a phase 3 clinical trial. S slash GSK126574 an experimental next generation integrase inhibitor known as GSK744 being developed by Shonigi GlaxoSmithKline Pharmaceutical as a backup to S GSK1349572. It is the it is a second generation drug inhibitor. This S slash GSK126574 achieved therapeutic concentration with one da daily dosing without the need for pharmacokinetic boosting agent. So next, uh, we have a video. We have taken a video and we hope you like it. I'm at a payphone trying to go home all of 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we are doing a a, a, a presentation on what on how to integrate inhibitor, and we have made a video also. Yeah. So, uh, just introduction. I I am the vi- I am the host DNA. I'm the viral DNA. I'm the integrates. And 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 how to the camera man. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Ho- hope you like the video. Hey. Enjoy. Okay, enjoy. Thank you. Bye. Oh my god, this is the SC River. I need you guys to find my love. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.